guys good morning it's a girl evil princess how are you all doing guys for all my beautiful returning subscribers thank you for all those that have just joined us thank you god bless you and if you are seeing my face for the very first time my name is evil princess nigeria youtuber based in germany thank you so much for joining us so guys today is tuesday and i didn't go to work because my my document has expired so i have um, an appointment today to come to the uh, foreign office to for an interview to change my document for extension and um i've never done it before this is my first time since i got documented two years ago so let us go and hear what they will say and if you are wondering this is why my makeup has my makeup is because i'm going to be taking pictures there so i don't want the pictures to be looking like this so that when i'm traveling i get to the airport they will not say ah ah ah, ah why you're not the same person are you <laughs> On your, on your document so guys let us go There's a lot of line. There's a long line there. But I am already one minute late. So let me just go and join the line. Guys, wish me well. <laughs> office and um i am super happy and excited first of all guys um my the person who is in charge of my case her name is um wrote a gun and uh, i have never seen her so nice we we have worked together for the past uh, almost six years and uh every time that i came to her she was always putting on glasses and i remember her telling me always the bad news and then she looks from her glasses to see if i was crying if i was shaking and all that and uh, a visit to foreign office is very very emotional here in germany because um when you come here you see a lot of people scared a lot of people um crying and I met two guys there who were crying and uh, I understand and I know how it feels. So she was super, super <laughs> nice. She was smiling. She was asking me um, about my studies, how is it going and everything, how my health is. She was just asking me about everything, if I was going to go for holidays and all that. And because of, I thought that, yes, I was going to go for holidays, I'll probably travel out of Germany this summer holiday. And she gave me, she went ahead and did what I did not expect. She gave me an official letter because now that my, my, um, my document is expired, uh, so normally they will just give you a piece of paper like a white paper like this to just just like that and then when i told her everything so she gave me this this is more official this is like us vice also this is just like us vice national pass riser pass so um facto factions be shiny gong so she gave me this and what the states is that um that this is for three months and with this and um, with my with my passport i can even travel to nigeria i can travel to us i can travel anywhere uh, without the normal plastic because that one is expired and when you apply it takes time it takes time they first send you a pin at home and then after one week you're allowed to go 
it takes time they don't do it here. i think they do it somewhere in berlin or in uh, yes in berlin and then they will send it so it takes time oh, and uh, i have to thumb print again i thumb printed i think i made a little video from there i thumb printed again and um, i made <laughs> i took another picture so guys um i asked them today if okay before this day i've been calling them on the phone asking them because of the coronavirus i wasn't able to come here i have even come here once and i met one who told me that it's coronavirus that there's nothing there's no information that she can give me concerning it i wanted to apply i want to apply for unbefristed unbefristed is um um permanent resident permit permanent resident permit like permanent you know and um there are requirements and all the requirements i have passed and the requirement differs it depends on the document that you have the type of document that you have the kind of paragraph that you have because german document is paragraph by paragraph so um i asked her today i told her after she attended to my ask i said that i wanted to apply that i want to apply for um for unbefristed that permanent resident permit so she looked and said that she have to check again if i've done dodge because i said yes she said she doesn't know because um you know guys i told you guys that i i i applied twice for asylum the first one was political asylum that i applied for and let her found out that that was the wrong one then i reapplied again so she said she doesn't know if the time because then it was three years that i waited before i reapplied you know and um so she said she doesn't know if they will calculate the two together or not but she wrote it down and said that she's going to check everything that um she's going to check everything and if she need more information that then she will write me a letter if she need anything any paper more she will write me and if she check all the papers and write to them and they said oh that um for now i am not qualified for it that um she's going to apply for three years um resident permit again okay the last one this one that have just expired was two years so she said if i am not uh, allowed yet <coughs> excuse me to get the uh, permanent resident permit that uh, she's going to apply for three years resident permit which also um is very very okay for me and uh, i asked her i said i have my my passport my nigerian passport if i i can travel everywhere with it she said yes i asked her i said can i travel directly from here tonight she said yes because i have my my country passport i can travel wherever i want to go to you know so she said another thing that she said was um she asked, she said because i am still a student so they did not charge me kobo like guys this is the first the second time that i'm going to be renewing my i'm going to be doing this the first two years i did not also pay uh, because i was still a student and now i am still a student <laughs> And they gave me a paper. This is a kind of yellow paper, you know, and there they will tell you what you should expect. So they said, um, follow Ginda on Talaga must in must each meet bringing. That means um the one they told me the Anivokon Nak ahead in that pin brief, they are Bundas Karain. So when can then van can each minor advice up holland so this is just like to tell you the more information on when you can come and the things that you should bring so they say one week after i get a pin there is a pin they will send then when i get that week, that spin after one week i will come back i will come here to take my advice the new advice so they told me that wednesdays are closed the office are closed and then she said um i said she said what is here is also um what you should bring so i have to bring my old document and i have to bring this the shiny gun that i just showed you people that she gave me that i could use to travel everywhere and uh she also gave me suzat blatt i have to bring it and there's a place they say gibo gibo is um is um amount that you're supposed to pay like and it was nothing 
and i'm super super excited because i don't have to pay extra for it you know for now but once i start to work once i finish my hospital i start to work in guys i can pay up to 120 euros for it so it is paid for so guys that is it um i'm going to end this video here and i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you have any information you should ask concerning this so um okay before i go guys one other thing that you are required that is required when you want to change your us when your advice expires um is you have to go with if you are working you have to go with your loan operational loan operational is like um um your pay slip your pay slip your job pay slip so uh, they asked me to bring the last three months so i have three months here and then there is a form that they asked me to fill the letter they gave you they gave me i took them then i took my passport and the advice the old advice so these are the requirements three three uh, three months um pay slip and the doc the letter that they gave you to invite you they will give you a date and then your pass your riser pass uh, um passport your your advice the document that they gave you the plastic they gave you here and if you have a paper sometimes they, they have this suzat blood that they give also which is green the one that i showed so you will take it with you and when you go there um they are nice i think these guys are very nice you know just that when you are still in the process you give them a lot of stress and they give you a lot of stress okay like i met a guy that they are a literal a literal guy he's from a literal and uh, they've asked him to bring his passport for the past uh, three years and he has documents okay but i think he's afraid to still bring it and today um they took i think they took his plastic and gave him advice he was crying and they told him that he that they're not going to allow him to work until he brings the passport which is not even lawful, okay? Uh, but I think sometimes they just do these things to scare you so that you will just go and bring the passport. The guy said that he has applied for the passport. I understand. Like in Nigerian embassy here too, they have people go through all kinds of difficulties before they're able to get their passport. So guys, that is the gist, guys. I am super, super excited that it's been a long way coming, guys. Uh, I didn't know that one day I'm going to come to for foreign office. I will be gisting with her. I'll be laughing with her. You know, she was telling me my clothes is fine. I am looking good and all that. And she was telling me, oh, she wished me well that she cannot wait to see that I have passed and now get a good job and all that. Like we are talking like friends, and it was it, it was unbelievable. Like this woman. Do you know what I call her? I call her, I call her <laughs> Rottweiler. <laughs> My sister, Obi, anytime I say, Obi, I'm going to see Rottweiler. She knows who I am talking about. Okay, guys. So that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching and if this is your first time of seeing my face my name is Ibo princess i'm a nigerian youtuber based in germany and on this channel we bring you news we bring you good tidings especially when it comes to foreign as the immigration foreign laws in germany immigration and integration in germany with foreign office and uh, the laws everything that has to do with immigration we gist about it and 